Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be discussing how the internet travels across oceans. The internet has become an integral part of our lives, connecting people from all corners of the world. But have you ever wondered how the internet data travels across vast oceans? Well, in this video we'll be exploring just that. So, let's dive in. Undersea Cables The internet travels across oceans using undersea cables that are laid on the ocean floor. These cables are the backbone of the internet, carrying almost 99% of all global internet traffic. Undersea cables are long and slender and can be as long as 40,000 miles. These cables consist of many layers of protective material and fiber optic strands that transmit data using light. How do undersea cables work? The data transmission in undersea cables is made possible by light. The cables have fiber optic strands that transmit data using light, which is then converted back into electronic signals on the receiving end. The fiber optic strands are made of ultra-pure glass that allows light to travel at high speeds. The cables are powered by repeaters which amplify the signals to ensure they reach the other end of the cable. Undersea cables are designed to be highly reliable and can withstand harsh ocean conditions. How are undersea cables installed? The process of installing undersea cables is quite complex and requires specialized equipment and expertise. The cables are loaded onto a cable laying ship and then taken out to sea. The cable laying ship then unrolls the cable along the ocean floor while navigating around obstacles like mountains and deep sea trenches. Once the cable has been laid, it is then covered with protective layers to prevent damage from fishing nets and other marine activities. The importance of undersea cables. Undersea cables play a critical role in the global economy. They facilitate global trade by providing high-speed internet connections that allow businesses to connect with customers and partners all around the world. These cables also make it possible for people to access information and communicate with friends and family from anywhere in the world. Undersea cables have been around for over 150 years, and were initially used for telegraph communication. The first transatlantic telegraph cable was laid in 1858, and it took nearly two weeks for a message to travel from Europe to North America. Today, undersea cables are the primary means of connecting continents for telecommunications and data transfer. In addition to carrying internet traffic, they also carry telephone calls, video transmissions, and other forms of digital data. There are many companies that specialize in laying undersea cables, including Subcom, Tay Subcom, and Alcatel Submarine Networks. These companies use specialized ships that are equipped with machinery for laying and burying cables, as well as remotely operated vehicles, ROFs, that can assist with installation and repair. Undersea cables are not immune to damage, and can be disrupted by a number of factors. These can include natural disasters such as earthquakes, storms, and landslides, as well as human activities like fishing, anchoring, and construction. When an undersea cable is damaged, it can cause major disruptions to internet and telecommunications services. To mitigate this risk, some countries and companies have invested in building redundant networks that use multiple cables and alternate routes to ensure continuity of service. There are currently over 400 undersea cables in operation around the world, spanning a total distance of more than 700,000 miles. These cables are constantly being upgraded and expanded to keep up with the growing demand for internet connectivity and data transfer. In conclusion, the internet travels across oceans using undersea cables that are laid on the ocean floor. These cables are critical to the functioning of the internet, and without them, the internet would not be able to function at the speeds we are used to. Undersea cables are the backbone of the internet and are essential for global communication and commerce. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of how the internet travels across oceans. If you like this video, please like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.